Good morning, ladies. Wow, Women of Word Ministry, Barbara Chapman, Hondo, Texas. And we are working on our discipleship program today. So this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to have live video here. You can see the candle flickering and you've got the Word of God there. And we're going to be sharing the Word of God and we're going to go back on the discipleship program. And today we're going to be doing one of our last chapters in this program and it's going to be on prayer. So we're going to be giving you some scriptures on prayer and go through that. But we'll go ahead and pray first before we get started. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you that you're going to teach us how to pray and hear and receive from you. And we just give you praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, ladies, you know the website is www.wow-womenofword.com. Go check it out. You can print these lessons out. They're all in hard print. And you're welcome to do that, okay? In the background, you know what I want to share first, though? I found a really, really neat, uh, well, I didn't find it. Someone sent it to me. And it's scriptures to song. And um, these are on the YouTube, and they're free downloads. But you'd, I think I want to probably try to get the CD. It's a real good gift to share with some people. So I'm going to turn this up just for a minute and share a couple of them with you. And uh, then you can go check out the website. I'll give you that information later in probably one of the PowerPoint slides. And uh, enjoy God's Word here. So let me turn it up a little bit. It is so cool. It's a good way to memorize verses. So enjoy just a couple of them, and then we'll get started on our study prayer. Okay, ladies, you can find that. I'm going to give you the website. I've got it on my computer right now. And it's going to be http 
semicolon with the two slashes, all right? And it's called www.scripturelease.com. That's www.scripturelease, all one word, dot com. Go check it out. There's about 20 downloads that are free, and that was just enough to whet your appetite. It's awesome stuff, and it's a good way to memorize verses. So that's all I'm going to share right now because it is probably, you know, copyright, and I don't want to be putting a lot of that on the YouTube. So back to prayer, okay? This is the WOW and CGG Discipleship Program. What does God's Word say about prayer? How often should you pray? And does God always answer our prayers? And again, you know that the WOW Women of Word Ministry is uh, founded on a lot of scripture reading, and you can go to the website and pick them out. So this is some of the verses, ladies. We're in 1 Kings 9.3. Psalms 39.12, Psalms 54.2, Psalms 141.2, Daniel 9.3, Mark 9.29, Acts 6.4, Romans 12.12, 12, 2 Corinthians 9.14, Ephesians 6.18, Philippians 4.6, and Colossians 4.2. And you all know that there's a whole lot more scriptures on all these subjects. We just gleaned from God's Word and got a few of them to so-called whet your appetite that you can take these and go and, and extend them in your quiet time. Okay, 1 Kings 9.3. And this is the American Standard Version that we're sharing from today. And we have, it says, And Jehovah said unto him, he's talking to Solomon, I have heard thy prayer and thy supplication. That thou hast made before me, I have hallowed this house which thou hast built to put my name there forever, and mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. And I've got here to read verses 1 through 6 in your quiet time to get everything on that. And you know that we look up words that kind of jump off the page, and a couple of them there, of course, would be prayer and supplication. And prayer means to request in humble manner or to address God, come before Him humbly. And supplication means to ask humbly and earnestly. So we're asking humbly and earnestly. And I'm going to go ahead and share in these, verse, in these verses, these are some of the words that I picked out. So this is not on the website. If you want to write these down or you can get your own words that jump off the page at you and look them up in the dictionary, and you know that's how WOW studies from the 11 Simple Steps, what all this is built on. Okay, the next word is incense. It's a passion, emotion. It's not just a fragrant odor. I didn't know that till I looked it up. So incense, <clears throat> excuse me, ladies, is passion or emotion. It's pleasing attention. Another word that we're going to be looking up in these scriptures is the word seek. It means to look for or discover, to request and acquire. And then we have the word fasting. That means to abstain from food or abstain from something. And then sackcloth is a coarse cloth. It's, it was camel or goat skin. And it's a sign of mourning. And then ashes is ruins. It symbolizes grief. Ashes symbolizes grief, repentance, and humiliation. And steadfast, it means immovable or firm being faithful and determined. We're determined to get all the way through this discipleship program in the year 2010. Praise God. The word continue means to endure, to carry on. Keep keep up. Okay, stay with it. And always, the word always means at all times, forever. And then we have the word watchful. And watchful is being, being on watch, being attentive. And there's a couple other ver uh, words, but I did not look them up, and that's perseverance. Anxious. Anxious would be a good one to look up. Thanksgiving, meditate, wisdom, and salt. And I've got an acronym on the acronym page of the website, salt, and that's one of my favorites. We want to be salt shakers. Okay, Psalms 54, 2. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. That's something we could use as a prayer. Today we could say, God, hear my prayer, O God, and give ear to the words of my mouth. So you can pray God's scripture back to him, which is really cool, right? Psalms 141.2 Let my prayer be set forth as incense 
before thee, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Daniel 9, 3 And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications and fastings and sackcloth and ashes. And you know that we just looked those words up to magnify what that scripture has to say. Mark 9, 29 And he said unto them, This kind can come out by nothing save by prayer. Prayer changes things. And this one you need to go and read verses 17 through 29 in your quiet time to understand what he's talking about there in prayer. That's Mark 9, 29, but the study references will be not Mark 9, 17 through 29. Then we go to Acts 6, 4. But we will continue steadfastly, that's another one of our words, we will continue steadfastly in prayer and the ministry of the word. And you want to study verses 1 through 6. Acts verses 1 through 6 in chapter 6. Leaders were set in order to take care of the church so the disciples could pray and study and share God's word. Romans 12:12, 12, 12. Rejoicing in hope. So there's always hope in Jesus. We want to rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, and continuing steadfastly in prayer. 2 Corinthians 9, 14 through 15. And by their prayer for you, who long for you because of the exceeding grace of God in you, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Jewish Christians were praying for the saints here in Corinth, and they were praying for help for the fellow Christians, and Jesus was talking about cheerful givers. So the study that you want to do in this one will be 2 Corinthians 9, and you want to look at verses 8 through 15. Look at verses 8 through 15. And then we go to Ephesians 6, 18. And you all know that I study in the Believer's Bible Commentary, and some of these have uh, where I went and looked in the Believer's Bible Commentary for some magnification of that. And in Ephesians 6, 18, if you have studied the WOW Women of Word Ministry, the Believer's Bible Commentary, you would check that out on page 1953 to study this verse, Ephesians 6, 18. And this is what God's Word says. It says, praying always. So we're supposed to pray all the time, not just on our knees. We pray all the time. You can talk to God all the time, have a relationship with Him, which is really, really cool. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful. There's that word watchful. Being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Here's Philippians 4, 6 through 9. I have asterisks on this one, so this must be a really good one that spoke to me. Okay, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That is an awesome description. I have used that many times. If you've got some troubling times and your mind's going different directions or you're just really stressed out, this is an awesome, awesome verse, ladies, that you might want to type up and take with you and, and memorize. And if you have a good voice, which I don't, but if you're into music and that's your gift and you like singing, this would be a good one to put to song. I, song. I think I'll go ahead and share that with you one more time and then we're going to close.